What is up everybody, Ron Blue back again with another video for you guys. Today we're doing a reaction video to Drake's Duppy Freestyle. This is part two of the science behind Pusha T's diss. This is versus Drake, of course. I'm going to have a link in the description below so you guys can check out that first one, that infrared, which was really crazy, which um, really baited him into going into this Duppy Freestyle. So we're going to break everything down about it. Without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm in shock. The nerve, the audacity. <laughs> you can just even tell with the way he was speaking, the way he was talking, like, it just really had that confidence of, like, bro, like, he had no idea what Pusha T knew. Okay. So if you rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of V's, what do you really think of a nigga that's making your peace? I've done things for him I thought that he never would need. Father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. <laughs> that's so crazy bar that's one of the crazier bars on this um on this song um of course this is in reference to uh father i stretch my hands part two um or part one whatever that is um off of the life of pablo so let's go back a little bit i pop style for 30 hours in your piece i've done things for him i thought that he never would need father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me i pop style for 30 hours and let him repeat now you popping up with the jokes i'm dead i'm asleep i just left him over by y'all putting pin pop style of course was that song with uh drake was it drake song yeah it was drake song pop style and then, uh, so basically, I don't know if he's saying that he wrote, I believe he did. I'm assuming that's what it sounds like, at least that um, Pusha T, I mean, I'm sorry, Drake wrote uh, Kanye's verse for uh, Pop Style. The sheets, tired of sitting quiet and helping my enemies eat. Keep getting temperature checks, they know that my head overheats. Don't know why the fuck you niggas listen to Denim and Steve. Must have had your infrared wrong, now your head in a beam. Y'all are the spitting image of whatever jealousy breeds. Don't push me when I'm in album mode. You're not even top five as far as your label talent goes. Mm. You send shots when I gotta challenge those. But I bring calicos to the Alamo. You know, for me, I feel like it's one of those things. I wonder if Drake, if it ever crossed Drake's mind because I said like, yeah, he didn't know. But you would have to think that if he told Kanye about any of this and they have this love-hate relationship that he would have to almost consider like maybe he told Pusha T Maybe this was a little bit more strategized than I thought it was. Like, I feel like, because like I said in the first video, I 100% believe was Pusha T was going to come out with both uh, songs, Infrared and then the story of Adidon. So I knew, I felt like he said that he needed a reason, basically, which was that the Virginia Williams um, line, but... I think he was going to do that regardless, but Drake felt like maybe he had to say something, you know what I mean, um, to cushion that blow, because that was a huge blow. So I can to it. virtual in my circle and hold him back because he makes me nervous. Mm. I want to see my brothers flourish to their higher purpose. The niggas leeches us. And this is more so a Kanye diss more than a Pusha T diss. I think it's good and now the teachers are learning. Yeah, your brother said it was your cousin and him and you. So you don't rap what you did, you just rap what you knew. Don't be mm. ashamed, there's plenty niggas that do what you do. There's no malice in your heart, you unapproachable dude. Mm. You might have sold the college kids for Nike and Mercedes, but you act like you sold drugs for Escobar in the 80s. I had a microphone of yours, but then the signature faded. I think that pretty much resembles what's been happening lately. Please believe your demise will be televised. Yeah. And as for Q, man, I changed his life a couple times. Nigga was at Kroger working double time. Y'all acting like he made the boy when I was trying to help the guy. He worked at Publix, actually. Shout out to Quentin, man. Quentin is really talented, by the way. You guys should really check out some of his, like, projects. They're, they're really, really, really dope. 
Stay with me. Man, you made this shit as easy as ABCs. Whoever's supposedly making me hits, but ain't got no hits, sound like they need me. Mm. My hooks did it. My lyrics did it. My spirit did it. I'm fearless with it. Yeah. I really shouldn't have given you none of my time. Cause you older than a nigga, you running behind. Mm. Look, holla at me when you multi-million. I told you keep playing with my name and I'ma let it ring on you like Virginia Williams. I'm too resilient. Get out your feelings. So that's the bar that Pusha T justified dropping that uh, story of Adonai. Be a cool summer for you. I told Weezy and baby I'm a dunner for you. Tell Ye we got an invoice coming to you. Considering that we just sold another 20 for you. To be honest. So I'm actually going to take that back. I feel like Drake, there's no way that Drake would have known that this was coming. Just just his confidence in this particular song is just otherworldly. He can't he this is basically his first disc after back to back. That was blatant at least. Um so you know he came in with the utmost confidence but like I said I either way whether this came out or or it didn't Pusha T was gonna drop that uh story of Adonai and that's what we're really going to get into um, with the next video. But you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I personally think that this was a really, really dope freestyle. Really dope, resp like, clap back. Um, it's one of those things, like, you know, um, you could tell it was like a, it, it was a freestyle. It was a freestyle right now. Was it off the dome? Probably not. But... Um, you could tell it was just really raw. It was, um, the cadence, the, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the entendres, those are really, were really dope. Probably had to stretch my hands out. Man, hey, it was a vibe. I really like it. Honestly, out of all three of them, I would say personally that the Duppy Freestyle was my favorite. Um, I think more so <laughs> the shock value in that in the last in the next one that we're gonna cover was more crazier um it was one of the more crazier things of our generation like of course like i was i might have been like two years old when hit em up came out but that was one of those things that was like really 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 um it shook hip-hop and this is one of those things that really shook hip hop. Uh, but we're gonna, we'll get into that. But you guys let me know what you guys think about it. Could he have went any harder? Do you guys feel like that he actually knew that this was coming or that he was just totally blindsided? You guys let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. This is the only channel where you're gonna be getting videos like this. Re uh, guitar lessons, guitar covers so much more i'm gonna get back to the guitar covers and less well guitar lessons very very soon just bear with me i've been very very busy outside of the youtube content creation uh world but i'm telling you guys i'm gonna get into it get back into it but until next time peace